Overview. This video gives an overview of what Analysis Higher Education Institutes can do with the student's data and when student consent is needed. This type of learning analytics needs a special consideration because, first, data is usually combined from a variety of sources. Having lots of data points on a student makes it harder to anonymize. Second, how we use student data must be explained to students in advance. However, we need to analyze some data before we know how we'll use it. So some scope is needed to allow us to explore data, which will then inform updates and communications to students on how their data will be used. Consent is needed in the following three circumstances. Firstly, consent must be sought if learning analytics is to inform an individual intervention. So for example, identifying a student that may benefit from attending a maths clinic or recommending an alternative learning pathway to a student. Secondly, consent must be sought if special category data is used. So for example, race, religion or sexual orientation. And thirdly, consent must be sought if learning analytics includes data not normally connected in the course of student completing their studies. So for example, a voluntary survey. Consent must be fully informed and it must be freely given. Informed consent requires students to understand what they are consenting to and all the implications of granting or withholding consent. This may be difficult for students who are not familiar with the services available in higher education. Legitimate interest can be used as a legal basis if data analysis is conducted at cohort level, for example, task group or program level, and the data is collected in the normal course of day-to-day -day activities but is not special category data. This can potentially be regarded as legitimate interest under GDPR, provided analysis is being used to improve the services offered to students. While student code consent is not needed, students must be informed about what data will be processed, by whom and for what purposes. So in summary, analysis of student data at cohort level may be covered by legitimate interest, provided the data is used to improve the services we offer. Using data to inform individualised interventions, using special category data or collecting additional data needs student consent. All uses of learning analytics require a data protection impact assessment.